Hi, this is Susan Gullas. The Eternal Light Community is located at 62 Bank Street in Tulapuna. We've been existing in existence for quite some years, some decades. Sister Debbie will talk about that. But we are made up of men and women of all ages and stages of life. We find our joy in giving ourselves first to the Lord and then to other people. We count our, our days of blessing whenever we can reach out and help others for our lives are dedicated to the Lord as lay people. We are not a religious community, but we are a community of people, a body of people who have brought ourselves together, committed to each other and committed to Jesus Christ. We've found over the years that our foundation is actually the scripture. We see part of our uh, vocation, our calling, our ministry, to be the teaching of the word of God. And so in everything that we do, we are guided, one, by the tradition of the church, and specifically by the word of God in sacred scriptures. She said, a few decades, well, a few decades is about 40 years that we have been together. And we, I live and we live in household community where a number of us make a lifetime commitment, a commitment to obedience, a commitment to love, a commitment to simplicity and chastity. And this life is really girded, undergirded with prayer so that we have our morning prayer, we have our evening prayer together, and our meals are shared together. This form a very important part of our living and of our formation. As she has said, there are covenanted brothers and sisters, and these covenanted brothers and sisters, they too make a commitment while they live in their own houses, but we meet once a month for the sharing of a meal, for study and for reflection, and simply for the sharing of our lives. So that Wendy has spoken about our involvement in the teaching of scripture at the Catholic Bible Institute, and our works are other too. We are into education. As persons involved in education, the Eternal Light Community Vocational School has been in existence for the last 14 years. In fact, well over 30 plus years under our house, we would take up children who have not, and adults who were not schooled and work with them. And many of them have come right through the system and have become very gainfully employed. We continue to work with young people in vocational education and, and in academia. We continue to work with the sick, with people who are abused, children who have been abandoned. Our work has been varied, but it is work that has been totally enjoyable and life-giving. It's good to be chaste. So what's that all about? It's about being faithful to your state in life. So we have married people in the community, in the covenant community, and they know that they are called to chastity as well. The, the, those who live in house, understand that the single life is a choice but it is also a great blessing and so chastity is something that we hold really high i remember my days of formation as i was speaking to sister debbie some time ago and we used the the, uh, the what is it, the rule of, of saint benedict as one of the main stays of our formation here so that we see partnering with our prayer which is one of our primary positions in life we partner that with our work. So we work as we pray, and our prayer is our work. And we are a charismatic community. Absolutely. So although we have a base in terms of the rule of St. Benedict, the whole, all the charisms, the movement of God's Holy Spirit, acknowledging Jesus Christ as first and Savior and Lord of our lives, is very foundational for us as a community. Eternal Light Community, we say, come, shine your light for Christ, for it is not good for the light to go under a bushel, but it's on the lampstand that all may see your good works. God bless.